This is Hazel Pre Hazel Prevot, and this is this is her grandfather Nineveh, which was Ross's brother, right? Hazel. And he was Nineveh Harris. Nineveh Harris, okay. Tell me what you remember about Nineveh. I remember he was really kind and friendly, and that he was he was smart. He wrote a column for the I don't know if it was called the Courier or whatever the Ashboro paper was. He wrote an article about all the activities in Jackson Creek, and he wrote a really nice one one time about how things were surveyed and what it, what the names were, and there was some controversy about that, so he got them straight. Did he? Yes. Was he in the surveying business? No. Oh, okay. But, but all of these Prevost boys were smart. Mm-hmm. And when he married my grandmother, Andrew Wesley and Louisa weren't happy about that at all because, first of all, she was a Nance, and the world is full of them up there. But she had had a child out of wedlock, and then she had a second child out of wedlock. So they weren't real happy to have her for a daughter-in-law. They weren't? You mentioned earlier that she, she was his downfall. That's what you said, I believe. <laughs> but by the time she had that first boy and his name was Charles Walton, mm -hmm. nobody could have produced a better boy, according to my great-grandmother. <laughs> she thought he was the berries. Mm -hmm. So I have, I have my great-grandmother's Sunday bonnet, mm -hmm. like this poke bonnet. It's it's a black taffeta, and my aunt uh, Mary saved everything. She was a bigger pack rat than me, and I didn't think anybody could top me, but she did. And she gave it to me, and I have it in a big bonnet box. Mm -hmm. And somebody broke in my house over here after I moved across the road. I still had the stuff in there, and they stole it. But don't you know they found it and recovered it in a second-hand store. No kidding. So I, I got my bonnet back. Now that would have been uh, Andrew Wesley's? Andrew uh, Wesley's wife, Nancy Louisa Harris Prevost. Okay. Mm -hmm. It belonged to her. So I'm, that's the only thing I have that was hers. Mm -hmm. And I'm tickled to death to have it. And, and when we had a celebration here for the I, I think it was a bicentennial. Mm -hmm. Craven County did a lot of stuff and they did stuff at Tryon Palace. So all the ladies had dresses made with the things on them and down to there and a bonnet. And mine was black but it had pink flower type things in it. <laughs> and one Sunday I put that dress on in the bonnet and come up here. <laughs> and my daddy said, I never thought I'd see that bonnet again. <laughs> but he remembered her wearing it. Yeah. So that's neat. I still got the bonnet. You do? I outgrew the dress, but I got the bonnet. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, you said earlier that uh, you had a boss that asked you um, something about your French heritage. What, what yeah, did you he, say? I, when I told him, I'm, when we did the histories, we always got your given name and your uh, birth name and mm -hmm. then your married name. And uh, so when I told him my middle name, my regular name was Prevost, mm -hmm. I, that's when he told me that I did not look like I was French. <laughs> and that's when I told him that there was so much fraternizing with the enemy, that's why I didn't look. <laughs> it is. Now, what, what do you remember about the, the old uh, homestead there in, in Randolph County and 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 also about my grand my great grandfather you you called him Ross we called him Pop. I went with my daddy one time and we went to where Andrew Wesley lived. Mm -hmm. He had I don't know if he had two sons or three sons, but he had two daughters. And um, uh, one of the daughters married. I think his name was Elmer Hoover, and 
they had a baby, but the child died, so that, that was all they ever had. And the other daughter was Mary Jane, and she never got married. I'm trying to find her Bible. There is a Prevost Pharmacy. I've heard of that, yes. In Randolph County. Mm -hmm. But the Mr. Prevost that owns it actually lives in Chapel Hill. So I've never caught him there to find out. But I think he's who's got Mary, Aunt Mary Jane's Bible. In Chapel Hill. Interesting. But I don't know his, I don't know his name, except mm -hmm. I know he's a bravo. Okay. And I think he got Aunt Mary Jane's Bible. But uh, the two girls looked after their daddy after Sally died mm -hmm. and stayed there. And he willed the place to, her name was... Eudora. Then Bell, Eudora Bell Prevost Hoover. Mm -hmm. She's buried at Piney Grove in the cemetery there. And she died before Elma died, and so the, the property went to the Hoovers. Okay. Because there was, there was no, no children. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. how they lost it, but it was a frame house, two stories, not real big. We didn't go in. I don't know who lives there anymore. But we did go by and see it. Mm -hmm. And uh, But my grandmother lived 20 years after that. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was in her 80s. But, she, but after he died, they sold all, everything in the farm. And one of the things I've tried to find is a chain. I have no idea who got it. And I tried, I talked to Astor Delt one time and he didn't remember. I think he went to the sale, but he didn't know who got that chain. But the chain is one that William Alexander had with his, I don't know if he had a Conestoga wagon, but whatever, they were going to go west. And they got as far as Missouri and they were going on the Oregon Trail. They were headed to Oregon. And the morning that they were supposed to move out, they got on that thing and they were getting ready to get in line. And he said, he said to Sally, do you really want to go all the way to Oregon? And he gave her the reins and she turned that rig around and come back to Jackson's Creek. So we didn't ever live in Oregon. Wow, really? <laughs> but he had yep. that chain because if you mm. went some place to go across. There was no bridge. You had to go like this. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you would get stuck and you needed a chain mm -hmm. for somebody to pull you out. Mm -hmm. And I wanted that chain, but I ain't found it. <laughs> it's still somewhere. And I feel it's, it probably hadn't rusted in two by now. Right. But I didn't get the chain. So we all almost ended up in Oregon. Huh? We all almost ended up in Oregon. We almost ended up in Oregon. That's wow. right. If okay. she hadn't have turned that rig around, uh -huh. we'd have been. Well, we maybe we could have died on the Oregon Trail. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of people did. Oh, that's right. Yeah. But but everybody's buried in Randolph County. Mm -hmm. We that's didn't make it to Oregon. Right. Now you mentioned you went up to Waynesville a couple of times, and, and yes. you met uh, my my great grandfather. Is, is that the first time you met him? Was up in that was the first okay. time I had ever met him when I was fifteen. Okay. And he was so nice and so pleasant, and Aunt Rosalie was so hospitable. I could have stayed a week. Really? But my friends came by, and I had to go. We had to go back to Junaluska, and uh, then I did not see him again until the 1970s. I can't remember if it was 72 or 3. And by then they were old people and I was an old lady too. But we enjoyed having that short visit with them. We just went and, and stayed a couple of hours with them and talked to them. And uh, then we had to come back. They were in the little house then, and, bef and the first time you went, they were in the, the big house. The first house was in mm. Hazelwood. Yeah. And the second one, they were in Waynesville. Mm hmm Okay. What are some of the things you remember about him? The, the things I remember about that uh, house on, in Hazelwood were the big, beautiful, blue morning glories. They were gorgeous, and there was a, a whole lattice full of them. Mm hmm And... Uh, I remember the stereoscope in the living room. I want to know what happened to it. I don't know. I don't know where it went. Mm -hmm. But that was an interesting thing to me. 
and uh, I remember going to the golf course and going to the furniture factory. We didn't go inside the furniture factory, but we went by there. Mm -hmm. Got it. There was a, a Provo reunion in mm -hmm. Illinois, uh, and I, I don't know how I found out about this, but uh, Edith wrote me about it. She, I, I, when I found out about it, I wrote her and asked her, was the motel close by mm -hmm. somewhere I could stay? Yeah, because there's and a big she, connection with you, uh, with us in she, Illinois. Sam, Samuel Brevo was her grandfather. Okay, Samuel was her grandfather. And Samuel and Alexander were brothers. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they came to Sullivan's Island. Mm -hmm. They actually at, were at Port Royal, which is on Sullivan's Island in South Carolina. Mm -hmm. And it had to be after 1793, because that's when the, the king was so bad on the Huguenots, and they had to leave. And I, I guess they left from England, but I don't know the ship. I don't know the port they left from. I won't, I'm, I'm going to South Carolina sometime in the spring, the uh, East, Eastern North Carolina Heritage Society is going to have a trip to go to Charleston. Okay. And I'm, I'm wanting to go with them. So you think that's probably where we came in through, was through, uh, through Charleston? Yeah. Yeah. Now, the Nancys came in either in Baltimore or in Norfolk, somewhere in that general area. Mm -hmm. But they all migrated into North Carolina. Okay. I don't know how they got from South Carolina to Randolph County. Yeah. I have, I have no idea. Yeah. Okay. Well, and I'll share with you anything I learned. I had seen some connections to, to Delaware, Kent County, Delaware, and also some connections, and I think it was with Samuel in Illinois as well. But do, do you know who William, who uh, William's father was? Who? Who? Uh, uh, William's, William Alexander's yeah. mm -hmm. grandfather was Thomas. Was Thomas? Okay. Yes. That was his father or his grandfather? Thomas was William Alexander's father. Got it. And and Thomas married Rebecca Ridge. Okay. Yep. And after he died, she married Nineveh. <laughs> I'll tell you in just a minute. She remarried? She remarried. Okay. And the year she remarried, her son got married to Sally Hoover. He uh, was 20 and she was 40. Uh, uh, Nineveh Rush. Uh, and we go to Randolph County, is Rush Mountain. Where she's buried, I do not know. Yeah. And I'm not sure where Thomas is buried either. Okay. But I think he's in the northern part of Randolph County. Yeah. And there is a cousin that lived in uh, Greensboro that came from Thomas's. She was, um, let's see if I can remember her name. She married a Hedrick, but they had come from Thomas's family. And uh, when Rebecca got married the second time and married Mr. Rush. He had been married and his wife was dead and he had grown children like she did. She was given a slave for a wedding present, a personal slave. Mm -hmm. Now most of the people up there didn't have slaves because it's not real big farming land as far as like plantations and you need all this extensive labor. But they had a slave and that's what she was given for a wedding gift. And I don't know the slave's name. You don't? No. Yeah. I'm sorry, I don't. Okay. But I don't know. Everybody I knew didn't know. By the time I got mm. old enough to ask questions, nobody knew. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. And do you know who Thomas's father was? I think he was William Alexander. Okay. I mm. mean... Alexander, not William Alexander. Alexander. Alex Alexander. Okay. Alexander and Samuel were brothers. Yeah, got it. And I think it was Alexander. Okay, good. I'll follow the trail. 
And I think Samuel is the one that left, and he ended up in Illinois. And he's Edith Gudelhofer's grandfather. Now, I wish I had some more information about her, but I don't know how to get any. I don't know any of her children. I don't know what her sister's name was. She, was she doing some family research? I don't know if she was doing any research. Her sister was doing the research, Oh, I think. got it. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, but they had the family reunion in Illinois, mm -hmm. and I thought about going, but when you work, you can't always do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. You have to work instead. Mm -hmm. Understood. Let me see what else. Um, I'd like to take a picture of it, if you don't mind, but I, I got, uh, I think you sent that to Ann. And that's Andrew Wesley and his family, right? Huh? That's Andrew and Andrew Wesley and his family, right? No, this is Ross. Oh, that is okay. Okay. I thought it was Andrew because uh -huh. my daddy had the picture. Yep. And I thought, I don't know who that is. I've never seen the picture, but when they salvaged it out of the fire stuff that mm -hmm. didn't burn, and I had it redone, uh, that was the only person I could think of okay. that it would be. Mm -hmm. But it's 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 just. I'm just a generation too far back. Okay, got it, got it. <laughs> that Ann sent me. And she sent me a picture of, um, I hope this is the right one, yeah. She sent me a, a, a picture of Aunt Rosalie when she was young. And she was pretty as she could be. Ooh. Isn't she pretty? She sure was. She, she, she And see, she named them all for me so I'd know who was yeah. who. <laughs> and she looks like she could be German. Yep. Uh, Widener was her was her uh, family name. 